Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about an exciting topic that I have been wanting to cover for a very long time and that is, is freelancing right for me? There are so many people out there who reach out to me on Facebook groups, emails, Instagram and ask me about how to start freelancing and they have a ton of questions around it. But the most basic question that you should be asking yourself is are you the right fit for freelancing? Is freelancing for me? Is the question that you need to answer for yourself because in my opinion and to be very frank it is just not for everybody. A lot of people that I've been talking to in the last few weeks think that freelancing is all about finding a job, applying to that job and getting those projects or just signing up on freelancing websites like Upwork, Fiverr, Freelancer and that's about it. The jobs will start pouring in, you will have clients, you can work for them, you will get paid, you can take vacations, work on the beach, have a location independent career and all that crazy stuff that you see on social media but that's just not how freelancing works, okay? So in this video, we are going to go over a few things that will help you understand whether or not freelancing is the right choice for you. If you're new to my channel, hi guys, I'm Chavi. I'm a blogger, a YouTuber and an online business coach. I make videos about making money online, working from home and freelancing each and every week. So don't forget to hit the red icon below and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started. The first myth that people have is that freelancing is easy and that's so so far away from the truth. Freelancing is actually very very difficult to begin with. You know why? Because once you start out as a freelancer, you are on your own. You are your own boss and you have to manage everything in your business by yourself. And along with all of that, you will have to learn the skills, find the clients and do so many other things. So freelancing is actually pretty difficult when you start off because you don't have a base already. So you need to create systems for your business. You need to network with people and build that network so you can get clients. You need to build processes to deal with clients and there are just so many things that you need to do for your business and you need to enjoy all of that. So when I started out almost four years back as a freelance writer, I spent almost three weeks working on my business to create the system, strategy and processes before I could finally land a client. But after that, also, I always had this fear that I will lose this client. I don't know how to get the next client, whether or not I can sustain this. But eventually everything fell into place once I decided to invest in myself, invest in the skills and the business side of freelancing. Both of them are equally important. In my opinion, the fastest way to grow and the easiest way to grow as a freelancer is to make an investment in your business. Learn the business side of freelancing as well as the skill properly so that it is easier for you to start out your business and enjoy this entire process and so that you also become profitable at the earliest and that's why we all want to do freelancing, right? Now, a lot of people think that investing in a course is a waste of money. For all of those who think that, I have a few things to say. So you went to college for three plus years, paid for the college and a lot of times you don't even end up getting a job that you like and in many cases you don't even end up getting a job, right? You went to 12 years plus of schooling, you paid for your school, you were patient, you were working on yourself so that after a while you can earn money. There are just so much investment that you make on a regular basis. You buy a phone, a laptop, you go out to a restaurant to eat out of this entire thing and invested in a course that teaches you how to build a business that will actually make you money in a few months, then the ROI is actually a lot more, right? You need to understand that and change that mindset. And that is when freelancing becomes easy. If you try to do everything by yourself, if you try the trial and error method, you might figure it out by yourself, maybe in a few months, if not years, but it will get very tedious, overwhelming and most 98% of freelancers quit because they don't know how to do things. They don't have a supportive community and they don't have the help that they deserve. And that is why freelancing is difficult. The second thing people think is that once you're a freelancer, you are your own boss. 
it's exactly the opposite of this as a freelancer you would be working with many many clients right and all of those clients are your bosses because they have their own projects their own deadlines their own set of issues they will reach out to you they want you to work on something you have just so many bosses the only good part about that is that as a freelancer once you have grown as a freelancer you have the opportunity and you have the choice to work with certain kind of clients and certain kind of projects you can just say no to anything that you don't like so you have that choice to make but initially as a freelancer you wouldn't you wouldn't have that because you don't have a network your name is not out there you have to still build your reputation as a freelancer you probably have to take the projects that come along or that come along your way anyway but after a while it will become easier because then you will have an established portfolio you will have client testimonials you you will have social proof you yourself will be more confident as a freelancer and then you will have the choice to make which projects to work on which clients to work on and that's when it becomes so much fun the third thing a lot of people think is all you need to do is to set up shop on fiverr freelancer guru etc and that's about it you can start applying for freelancing projects but that's not how freelancing works you might start there and i don't even recommend that actually but you cannot sustain a f- profitable freelancing career if you're relying on any platforms or any of these sites because the work is not a uh, constant as a freelancer you need to invest time create a strategy and know who to target where to target when to target and how to target all these things you need to learn so that you can get clients independently outside of any platform so you never are left without any work and you have a constant flow of income and this takes time guidance and the right strategy the fourth thing that i want you to know is that once you start out as a freelancer your billable hours will actually be pretty less in a 9 to 5 job you walk into your office sit at your desk and do the work that is assigned to you right you are just doing your job you are not responsible for marketing getting clients taxes etc right but as a freelancer you are responsible for everything and you are a single person you don't have a team so you you will be loaded with work and initially when you start out the amount of time that you will spend on actual client deliverables would probably be just 20% and 60% of your time should go in networking and building your networks and the last thing that i want to talk about is that freelancing comes with drawbacks and you need to know that let's say that you fall sick then what happens because as a freelancer you are on a contract basis if you don't work you don't get paid what if you fall sick what if you want to take a vacation do you take your laptop with you do you work on your vacation if you don't work on your vacation how are you going to approach the client who is working with you how are you going to tell them that you are taking a two weeks off do you have the savings for it do you have a strategy for how to work when you are traveling what if the internet goes away there are just so many things that you need to take care of as a freelancer but after all of the things that i have talked about and made freelancing look so so difficult if you have the right guidance and the strategy freelancing will actually become pretty simple you will find clients a lot lot faster you will start enjoying this entire process you will know how to network so you don't feel burdened with it and you start enjoying connecting with people you will have a ready system to implement in your business so it will save you tons of time you will know how to deal with a specific situation deal with a difficult situation with your client or how to deal with the client in general right because you will have somebody to ask you will have a supportive community So it is very very important that you have the right kind of guidance when you are starting out as a newbie freelancer because if you keep facing rejections then you will lose your motivation to work on your business and ultimately you will quit and that's something that I don't want you to do because if you are meant to become a freelancer then know that it will take time have the patience and put in the right strategy put in the time and you will become a success and at this point I want you to share something about my online program the profit plan where i have packed in 4 years of my experience as a freelancer and online business owner in a step by step format in a ready to implement format so you can just take it and implement it in your business 
and grow at a much faster rate without the overwhelm and with all the support that you deserve as an inspiring business owner. So with the course, with this online program, you get lifetime access to the course modules and all the updates. You will get one year of weekly coaching calls directly with me so I can clear all of your doubts. You can ask me anything and I am ready to help you and work on your business until it becomes a profitable venture. You will get access to various talks by industry leaders, freelancers and virtual assistants so you learn from a variety of people. And you also get access to a job leads. Me and my team work really hard to find out these job leads to share with our students so they get motivated and have a starting point to find a client for themselves. You get all of this inside the profit plan and my students love the profit plan community because they get the support, they get the care that they deserve. I am available on the weekly coaching calls. I'm available on our private Facebook group each and every day answering their questions. So they have to answer at the right time and they have the answer so that they have clarity in their head on how to proceed with anything in their businesses. And I love doing that because I really care for your business. So if you want to start freelancing, if you want to launch a profitable freelancing business, if you're struggling with it, I invite you to join the profit plan community because it's a safe place for you to get the support and the kind of guidance that you need to boost your business and start making profits as soon as possible. And if you're still thinking if freelancing is for me, then I have a feeling that it is for you. Now, I have only three more questions for you to answer for yourself before you start. So ask yourself, are you committed to work on your business, even if it is not fetching you any results for your few months? Because you've got to be patient. Are you a self-starter? Nobody is going to hold your hand and show you or do the work for you. So you need to be a self-starter. You need to know that there are a lot of things that you need to experiment as a freelancer and you should be ready for it. Can you be persistent and consistent in your efforts? And are you ready to invest in yourself as a freelancer? If the answer to all of these four questions is a yes, then you are meant to be a freelancer. And I would love to have you inside my profit plan community. I hope this video was helpful in understanding whether or not freelancing is right choice for you. Because personally, I don't think it is right for everybody. But if you have stayed till here, if you have nodded to all the questions and all the things that I have said, then I think it is for you. So don't delay it. Start working on your freelancing business and start making money online. And I'll see you next week, guys. Bye-bye.